Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Sean. But don't just sit there, my wee building bricks. Come on. What's in Granny Murray's shells today? Look at these. OK, I'll play a sound and you have to try and guess what thing in these cars makes the sound? Ready? It does! Yay! Well done! Okay, we'll turn that one over, will we? That's the train! Yes! Well done! Woohoo! Good boys! Yeah, do you think it's that one, Sean? Yeah. You clever boys! Well done! Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Sean. But someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, yes. It's Raven with Lisa. Hello there. Raven. Hiya, Granny Murray. Oh, and Lisa. Come away through honey pies and see everyone. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's my new mobile phone. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, love. It's Tina. <laughs> yes, I'm just dropping off Lisa at Granny Murray's just now. What's that? Oh, sardine curry sounds lovely for tea. Yes. <laughs> OK, love you. Uh, me too. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was nice. <gasps> Let's dress Claude up as a mobile phone. <laughs> oh, that's you, darling. I must show you my new mobile phone. It can do loads of things. <laughs> right, take a look at this. Oh, it's Lisa and Tina. Oh, that's gorgeous. Is it in case you forget what they look like? No. <laughs> it's just one of the amazing things my new mobile can do. With this, I can ring up Tina any time and find out where she is. And she can ring me up and find out where I am. Or I can listen to music. It's got a radio. Or I can use it as an alarm clock. Or I can use it as a diary. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to you, you'd think it was the greatest invention since sliced bread. <laughs> but if you ask me, a mobile phone can't do everything. Well, not yet, anyway. <laughs> i tell you what, I'll write down my number and then Lisa can give me a call any time she feels like it. Good idea, sugar plum. Yes, we're going to the city farm later on, so Lisa would love to phone and tell you all about it. There you go. Oh. Call me any time. Oh, lovely. Oh, looks like Claude's ringing. <laughs> oh, Claude. I'll always be able to keep in touch with you dressed like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Claude, you make a great mobile. A bit big to slip in your pocket, though, eh? <laughs> this is for you, Daddy. Oh, thanks, Lisa. Oh, a little pig. Oink, oink. <laughs> well, I'll look at that and think of you at the farm. Bye, Lise. <laughs> right. Come on. I must get to work. Now, remember, a mobile phone can't do everything. Thanks, Granny Murray. You guys have a fun day. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> Will you keep a wee eye on Raymond and make sure he goes the right way to work? I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views Stepping along, I'm swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charms Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always know the way I go But can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go left now or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Left! Okay, left to the station I'm on my way to work today Looking this way and that away. Hello, taxi. Hello, tank. Hello, trolley. Hello, plank. Hello, lorry. Hello, bank. He's on his way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hey! Do I go up now or do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Up! Up! You told me the way I go Thank you! You 
showed me the way I know. Thanks for that. Now what? Oh yeah, I need to get changed for work. All dressed and ready to go. <laughs> oh, nine o'clock. We should be off. Oh, <laughs> bang on time. Right, I'll just put my mobile phone under the counter in case someone rings. Hi, Raymond. Good morrow, fair maid. <laughs> um, can I get a coffee, please? One coffee coming right up. Ooh, that's Sorry, my phone. Sorry, that's my phone. Oh, it's not my phone. No, no, it's my phone. Oh. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Mum. Where are you? OK, so you're getting on the train at Molly Moa. Yeah, all right, then, well, I'll, I'll meet you in the Buffy car. All right, bye, Mum. <laughs> Was that your mum? <laughs> <laughs> How did you guess? Yeah, she's meeting me here, and then we're going rock climbing in Helen's Bridge. Oh, that sounds very brave. Well, it's not up a cliff or anything. It's up this climbing wall that they've got at the Special Indoor Activity Centre. Oh, it's absolutely brilliant. Even so, you wouldn't catch me climbing up it. I get dizzy even walking up the stairs to my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's really safe, actually. You're sort of strapped onto these ropes, and there's all these pegs that you can hold on to, so even if you lose your foot in, you can't fall off and hurt yourself. Oh, I see. Well, maybe I could try it one day, then. <laughs> Sorry, there's your coffee. <laughs> there you go, Raymond. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I wonder how my little piglet is doing. I love to skip in river seeping, river seeping, go by the sea. I love to skip in river seeping, go river seeping, go that's for me. Nay! Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Oh, this second you put the wee horsey in the stable pit. Thank you. Any money? Can I please um, phone my daddy? Of course you can. Now, where did I put daddy's number? Hold on. Uh, right, what's this number? Oh, it's ringing. Come on, daddy, answer the phone. Where are you? Oh, Bobby, aren't you going to answer your phone? No, no, that's not my phone. Oh, oh, it must be mine. <laughs> oh, too late. One missed call. <gasps> it's from Granny Murray. <laughs> I'll just call her back. Well, actually, there's no time just now. Um, Bobby, we're pulling into Molly Moore. Your mum will be getting on now. All right. Thanks, Raymond. Hi, Mum. It's me. Yeah, are you getting on the train? Oh, good. All right, well, remember, I'm in the Buffy car, OK? Oh, what, what, yeah, the yeah. Buffy car. No, you can't miss it. It's right in the middle of the train. The of the train. Yeah, yeah, just go oh, straight through all the carriages and you'll find it. Right, I'm, wa I'm walking up a What was that? Where did you see? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Hello, <Mom. laughs> Hi. Hi. Come oh. and sit down. More customers. Well, there's no time for chatting. I better get on with some hard work. <laughs> I love my train. I love to do chocolate, lemonade, or tea. I'm just very happy serving you. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day, making special moments on my way. I'll tell a joke and toast some cheese on toast. Oh, I walk, walk, walk all day, bringing smiles and happiness my way. Being nice is what I love the most. Take this time, I'm looking fine. So happy being me, meeting all the people on the train. Can I help and clear your things? If there is a problem, I'll explain. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day, wheeling trolleys, weaving to this way. I'll do a trick and make the journey quick. Oh, I walk, walk, walk each way, loving all the things I do each day, bringing smiles and happiness my way. It's all go today. Oh, Brendan, could we get some fridge taken with us? Rock climbing, please. Oh, sure thing. How about a couple of Raymond's rosy apples? Oh, mm. 
Is that oh, is your, that your phone? phone? <laughs> no, it's mine. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, hello, love. It's Tina. <laughs> yes, Lisa's gone to the city farm with Granny Murray. Uh-huh. Oh, she has her coat, yes. <laughs> right, I'll talk to you later. Bye, bye, bye. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> oh, we're at Helen's Bridge. Oh, right. There's your apples, ladies. That's uh, 40 pence. There you go. Thanks. And enjoy your climb. <laughs> Thanks, Raymond. Oh, I mustn't forget my phone. Um, actually, I think I better switch this off. I don't want to get interrupted halfway up the climbing wall. Ooh, <laughs> oink oink, Lisa. <laughs> I love to skip in River Sea Plingle, River Sea Plingle, that's for me. <gasps> Look at the cow's girls. Oh, they're lovely and the weak calves. Did you see that cow's long tongue? It was enormous. Imagine if we had tongues that long. <laughs> Who's got the longest tongue? Oh, I think it's Lisa. Can I phone my daddy to tell him to speak to the cows? Oh, <laughs> yes, darling, of course. Now. Whoa, I can give Granny Murray a call now on my mobile phone and see how Lisa's doing. But where is it? How did I lose it? Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped off Lisa at Granny Murray's house. I showed her my brilliant new mobile phone. It can play games, take photos, make videos, everything. At nine o'clock, I got to work and the train left on time. Bobby came in for a coffee and we heard a mobile phone ring. I thought it was mine, but it was Bobby's. We both have exactly the same looking mobile phone. Bobby told me she was going rock climbing with her mum. At 10 o'clock, Lisa called me on my mobile phone, but I missed it. I didn't get time to call her back because we arrived at Molly Moore Station. Bobby's mum got on the train and they bumped into each other in the Buffy car while they were both talking on their mobile phones. <laughs> it was really funny. At 12 o'clock, Bobby asked me for some fruit to take rock climbing. As I served her, Tina called me on my mobile. I finished the call and put my phone on the counter because we were arriving at Helen's Bridge. Bobby took her fruit, and then she must have taken my mobile phone from the counter, thinking it was hers. And then she switched it off because she was going to be busy. And when I wanted to use my phone, I couldn't find it because Bobby had it. What can I do? Now remember, a mobile phone can't do everything. A mobile phone can't do everything. Well, that's right. <laughs> a mobile phone can't find itself if it's lost. But I can find my mobile phone because I know where Bobby's gone. To the climbing centre with her mum. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will we know how to fix it? I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Wait, mate. What are you doing here? You've got my phone, Bobby. Have I? No! I'm sorry, I must have taken it with me by mistake. Not to worry. Thanks. I must get back to my train. Bye. Oh! I've got another missed call from Granny Murray and Lisa. <laughs> I'll just call them back. <laughs> Hope Lisa's enjoying herself. Here's my phone. I get Hello? Hello! Hello, Raymond. We've been trying to phone you. Yeah, I lost my mobile for a while. Oh, I see. Not to worry, Lisa's here. It's Daddy, darling. Hello, Daddy. Hi, Elise. I'm sorry I missed you. How's the city farm? Listen to the pigs. <laughs> oink, oink. <laughs> bye bye, Daddy. Bye, Lisa. I'll see you later. Oh, thanks, darling. Hiya, Granny Murray. Come on, we in. Come.
come on, Lisa, Daddy's here. Hello, Hello my girl. <laughs> Have you had a good day with Granny Murray? Yes. Oh, we certainly did, didn't we, darling? What do you say to Granny Murray? Thank you. Oh, it's a pleasure. And it's a big thank you to you from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. A mobile phone can't do everything. It saved the day. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. Bye-bye, <laughs> my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Lisa, let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, flight, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a mobile phone because when Raymond dropped off Lisa, he showed us his new mobile phone. He was very proud of it. It could take photos, tell the time, play music, all sorts of clever things. He gave us his mobile number so Lisa could ring him whenever she wanted to. Then we played with our farmyard set. Lisa tried to phone Raymond, but he didn't answer. He missed the call. Later, we went to the city farm. The animals were fantastic. Lisa tried to call Raymond on his new phone again, but there was no answer. But when we were looking at the oinky pigs, Raymond called us. He explained that he'd lost his phone for a while. That's why he couldn't speak before. I think Raymond's learnt that a mobile phone can't do everything. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Where the fairy box stands the blue Time to call on Granny Marie 